Hi friends, this is Caitlin and today I'm sharing with you two ideas using the same layout on how I went through to use up some of the scraps in my stash. I went through and found seven colors to make up a rainbow color scheme and then seven combinations of red, white, and gray to make a fun Christmas card. And I'll be pairing them with the giant Sending Big Hugs die from Lawn Fawn, as well as these adorable little word buddies from Hello Bluebird. I had so much fun shopping my stash, um, but I have to be real with you. I wanted to show you this is my scrap bin. This is where I keep all of my scrap papers that are smaller than an A2 size card panel. Um, and I know that it looks like a mess and it's so much that it definitely can be overwhelming, which is part of why I really wanted to go through all of this and pull out at least some of these scraps so that I could use them for good instead of just chopping into more six by six paper packs because I have an addiction for those. Um, so I also cut down a piece of regular printer paper so that I had two A2 size card panels which I'll be using to adhere my strips down to. I cut each of my strips to be uh, three quarters of an inch wide and uh, I found that seven of these at that measurement is the perfect amount. I am going to be using a stitched rectangle die to cut my panels down just a little bit um, so it's okay if your measurements aren't perfect and a little bit hangs over the edge or something like that because we are going to be tidying up all of our edges so that we have a little tiny thin white border around to the card panel when everything is done um, so I just went through and did each of my rainbow patterns and then each of my Christmas patterns. And the fun thing with the Christmas ones is that multiple of these aren't even Christmas. They're just like stripes and wood grain and the plaid is just from like a fall paper pack that I have. Um, but because the colors all by themselves and when combined with each other look so Christmassy, depending on what other things you add to it, you could really make this any kind of theme that you wanted, just depending on what kind of scraps you have, even if the papers weren't originally intended for a certain kind of holiday. So I laid these ones out to try to figure out my pattern. I knew that I didn't want any of the complete red ones next to each other. Um, so once I was happy with how everything looked together, I laid down some double-sided um, tape from Tombow permanent double-sided tape from Tombow um, and just laid each of my little stripes down next to each other the whole way down the panel and you can see they'll fit within our rectangle and then I just really messily trimmed off the edges so that everything would fit through my die cutting machine. You don't have to be exact because again we're going to be chopping off those edges. I used a little bit of washi tape to tape down my die and then ran it through and you can see how absolutely adorable this looks. And then I repeated the same process with my rainbow paper. Um, I just think that this is so fun. If you wanted to make a baby card you could do like a pastel rainbow or you know any kind of birthday theme. Um, just really depending on what you have or just keep it super neutral. You could do this with black and whites. I just think that this is so easy and can be used in so many ways. I just really wanted to share it with you guys. I'm always looking for ways to use up my scraps. So if you have any ideas on anything you figured out or any other videos that you've seen or creators out there making things with scraps that you think I should know about, please leave me a comment um, down below and I'll definitely check them out. I will use every scrap using idea I can get my hands on. So I cut my giant sentiment die out of uh, some white cardstock four times so I would have two for each card so to layer up and I lost the little tiny dots for the eyes so you can see I'm going back through my little trash bin that I keep on the side of my desk um, and that's why I never throw anything directly into the big trash can so I can find them when I need them. Um, so then I cut down some and folded some regular A2 size cards just out of again plain white cardstock. Um, I think this is the Nina 80 pound weight and then I'm going to start adhering my whole card together. So I laid down each of the panels, leaving that really cute little crisp white border around the edges. And I just wanted the little bit of white to help tie in with the plain white sentiment. I thought that would be a nice way to bring everything together and keep a nice balance. And then because 
the sentiment is so plain um, with the white, I really did want to give it a little hint of dimension. So that's why I'm layering up too. You could definitely layer it up more, um, but because I knew I was going to put some critters tucked in and around this, I didn't want it to be too thick either. I just wanted it to have a little bit of extra presence on the front of the card. So I adhered my little dots to each other as well, and then it was time to start um, laying them down, just using a tiny bit of liquid glue on the back. Right now I switched back over to my Honey Bee Stamps Precision Glue. I just love this glue so much. It never clogs up on me. It's so easy to use, and I love the size of it. I feel like it lasts me so long. So I booped my little dots into place. Is anybody else a huge Kathy Zilski fan and her booping? I love a good boop. Um, if you don't know what that means, please ignore me. <laughs> um, so I did adhere those down and then I got to work stamping out all of my little critters from the Hello Bluebird. Um, I think it's woods, wood buddies, woodward buddies, forest word buddies, something like that. I'll put it down in the description below. You know, everything I use, all of the products that I use and the colors of any Copics or inks that I use are always listed in that description box below for you if you need them. So I picked out two little bunnies and two little bears and I decided to, so that my card read birthday more than anything for that rainbow. I decided to give my little bunnies a balloon and a little party hat and then it was time to get on to my Copic coloring. With my white and gray and red color scheme for my Christmas card, I decided to make these bears little polar bears. So I'm just going in with my neutral grays and adding just a hint of shading right around the outside of them and on the bottom side of the one that's sitting up. Um, the trick with making sure that these look like polar bears and not gray bears is to make sure that you leave plenty of that white space visible on their little bodies and especially on their little faces. And then nothing is complete in my world without a little blush. So I did go in with a little bit of um, a red marker, pink marker to add in their little cheekies and ears. And then for my bunnies, I went in with the E30s. I wanted to keep them pretty light and definitely on the neutral scale um, so that they wouldn't clash too much with all of the rainbow colors that were going on. But I did want them to stand out a little bit. Um, I just think that these are so cute. I love this um, stamp set and the jungle version of this as well. I think they're so adorable and such an easy way to add a little bit of extra cute whimsy to um, something as bold and prominent as those giant die sets. But it also is so quick because they're little and it's just like a little head or a little sitting animal. It doesn't take a lot to color. It's not a whole scene. Um, so these are really good if you need like a last minute card too. Uh, while I'm coloring, I just wanted to really quickly ask you guys if anybody had any thoughts on the little intro video that I added to the beginning of my video. I had so much fun making it and I love it, but I am curious to see if, if you guys have any opinions about it, good or bad. I love constructive criticism. I can take it. Uh, so go ahead and leave me a comment below and let me know your thoughts on that. So back to my card, I did line up all of my little dies and tape them down with some washi and then I ran it through my die cutting machine and it was time to get my critter set up on my card. And I love playing around with placement for these little guys and figuring out where everybody's going to sit. And I did use the same layout for both cards where I had the little critter that was just the head part poking up over the flat part of the G and then my little sitting critter down on the bottom between my B and my H. And for this Christmas card, I did pop up my little critters with foam tape. So that way there would be a little extra dimension. Um, for the birthday card, I just adhered them down flat. And that way you can kind of see the difference, um, the different options you have for gluing them down and pick what fits best for what you want to do. For my little bunny hat, I did trim off the bottom white border on that hat. I think it just looks a little better once it's glued down on him without the little white border on there. It just kind of, it looks like it's meant to be there a little more in my opinion, but you don't have to do that. Um, and so I glued everything down flat with just my liquid adhesive. I put my balloon down first so that I could tuck it right behind that little sitting bunny and then added him and then that 
shows our two complete cards. This process was so quick and so easy. I hope it inspired you to go through and shop your stash of scraps. I'm sure there are plenty of you out there that have a whole ton of scraps like me that we need to start using up so we can make room for new stuff, right? That's a thing. It was Black Friday. That's definitely a thing. So I'm so glad that you came to hang out with me today. I appreciate you being here. If you haven't subscribed already, please click that subscription button below. Our crafty family is growing every day and I'm so grateful for all of you. I hope that you have an absolutely amazing week and as always, happy crafting. <laughs>